What's up everybody? It's Lids and we're back for some more Witcher and last time we fended off some people in the hospital. We... People trying to raid the hospital, that is. We protected the people in the hospital, don't worry. We uh, went into the sewer, found a place where we could unlock a door and it actually sent us back into the crypt where we found some family heirlooms which we may or may not have sold to a con man. But anyways, we sorted that stuff out. I was thinking there's a couple things with we probably want to do. Now that it's day, I just want to see if we can find Shawnee in here, because we do want to talk to her. No, because we did talk to the prisoner. If she's not here, then we will check out, uh... I'm looking for them. Okay. Uh, the other thing I want to see if we can do is go to the swamps and the area of town leading up to that. Because it seems like there's a lot of stuff over there that we have not done yet. There's some people we still need to talk to at the bar as well, and eventually we'll need to raid one of the people's households that we saw over there. But that stuff, we could probably wait to do. The edge of our screen all blurry? Is there like some potion affecting us right now? Oh, the cat potion off. Realize that. Yeah, but I think we can go back to do that stuff later. Ugh, ugh. I get for letting go the mouse to scratch my back for a second. Alright, so I have no idea what's over here. We've not been here yet. But based on some quests, one might expect some haunted houses. I mean, we know how one of those turned out. It's not actually a haunted house. I think some drowners that we are supposed to take care of. Fairy man presumably goes to the swamps, which might be out there. I'd kind of like to see what's in this actual town itself first, or outskirts of town, whatever this technically qualifies as. We'll go there in a second. Might want to talk to the merchant. I do not know what they might have. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Fried perch, an exquisite repast. Mmm, pike can be good too. Don't frighten the fish. You're doing most of the talking. They're accustomed to me. Besides, you speak of pike. Good luck. I could use a drink. Okay. Um. Interesting talk. Was wondering if he might have anything of note to say to us. The other thing is, I think we have gained a level or two. And we do still have the ability to allocate those skill points, so we might want to do that at some point here. I'm not actually going to talk to the ferryman. I'm just no curious if these merchants actually have anything, but based on the... Okay, that looks totally natural. Based on what the first merchant did, ooh, that this guy doesn't have anything either. You guys... Well, I Probably don't have anything. And two busty holes. Okay, let's see if anything else is over here. Uh -huh. It's another side of town, or an entirely different town? Oh, this must be the oh, the, the part of town. Yeah, the gate, the it's locked off. Kills dozens every day. I have a feeling the quarantine is useless. So we could potentially try to find a way in there. I mean, I'm curious what happens if we do that. Probably not going to have any luck, but yeah. Yeah. In the war, I served under Bronibor in the PFI. I have no idea what that means. Halt. No passage through here. Keep your shirt on. Can I ask why? Not even the Emperor of Nilfgaard can pass. Captain's orders. Why wouldn't you let the Emperor pass? Those are my orders. Now I see why we won the war. Okay. Moving on. Looks like... I mean, we did talk to Declan when he was back in the main area of town. Looks like there's not much else here. Mostly just the ferry. The map real quick to see if there's anything I'm missing here, but... Yeah, for the most part, it looks like just the ferry, so... I mean, good thing that we did explore a bit. It is nice to see a bit of a change of scenery. But it seems as though oh, the ferryman is running away from us. We might charge. We'll see. Transport services yeah. at the best prices. 
Where do you go? I ferry people from Vizima to the swamp and back. Because everybody wants to go to the swamp. Take me to the other side. Times are wasting. Made up your mind. How much does it cost? I feel like this is an important thing to establish before I commit to making this decision. I'm assuming it's not much, but come on, man. Okay, five horns. No big deal. Ready to go? How many yes. times are you going to ask me that? To the swamp. Okay. Something off going to happen here? Or is this just a straightforward, relaxing voyage onto the, the very scenic swamp? Something tells me that's not going to be the case. The... Yeah. This doesn't seem like it's going to go very well. But I mean, it's really a popular tourist attraction, right? Oh, there's something lurking in the shadows over there. Of course there is. Um, there are people here. This does surprise me a little bit. Drowners, okay. Papers, drowners, and wet feet. That's all I'll find here. A new customer. Come aboard. That's the ferryman. Cramps. I actually wanted to just sort of way to talk to Cramps for a second here. A second. We will technically have to put it away to do that, so. We didn't want to accidentally swing our sword at him. Son. I'm not your son, Gramps. <laughs> you guess my name. They call me Gramps around here. <laughs> they call me all kinds of things. Mostly Geralt or Scabbed Freak. Well, people exaggerate. I don't see many scabs. <laughs> no offense. None taken. But I'm likely to earn some trekking through this swamp. Yeah? I'm looking for work. Do you have anything ah, in here? Swords. I suspect I know the type of work you seek. Perhaps you could escort me to the chapel for my prayers. Hey, on, this didn't go so well last time. Driving monsters off with my staff. I mean, okay. I was thinking about paying work, but all right, I'll take you there. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, it might have made sense to try to clear out this area a little bit in advance. Also, where does this guy actually need to go? There, ooh, this is pretty zoomed out. So that is, I think, somewhat significant distance. Are some established houses, buildings over there, apparently. Okay, we gotta go this way, where all the drowners are. Let's make sure we're on our silver sword. That's going to be notable. Also, assuming group stance, probably gonna be the way to go. I see you. That was too early. One down, another one coming. Ooh, don't we... Hold on. Uh, don't we need to pick up Drowner tongues or something for one of our quests? This would be a good time to do that. I mean, there are also Drowners in the sewers, so I guess it's not urgent that we do that right now. It just feels like this is potentially a bit of a wasted opportunity. If you like, they are at least, more or less, at the moment, Going up one by one. See you. Enough. Come on, enough. Okay. Well, it's about to change. Uh, it's definitely about to change. So we definitely want to try enough. to keep it as just these guys here for the time being. Because if we invite 
the attention of all of these drowners, then this is going to become far more complicated. Especially making sure that they don't venture off and start attacking our friend over here. And... Also don't know what the nosy dog is going to be doing. Probably attracted some attention. I'm gonna assume. Yeah, because right now we're, I mean, getting just basic crafting materials, I assume. So, Gramps, on one hand, I do appreciate you. Ooh, wine barrel. On one hand, I do appreciate you. Um, that's in town. Yeah, we'll get back there at some point. Uh, I appreciate you standing far away where you're not going to be in the middle of the fight. But if you stand that far away, I'm also a little bit nervous. Foggy holes must be clay pits. Enough. Come on, enough. So I'm worried that someone else is going to sneak up behind us and take you out. Okay. Enough. Now that we have two. Granted, that would have been a good time for you to stay back. Was another one over here. Enough. Uh huh? What? Um, I, I see the line, but you didn't you didn't say anything. Are you like? Ah, not so fast, son. I'm old and not so hearty as you. You're saying slow down? I'm not so clear on what you mean by there's another drowner here and there are plenty of drowners here I'm just trying to find the ones that make the most sense to pick off from the herd you seem like the answer all right Gramps you gotta stay back okay it's like this is what I wanted to avoid at least a little bit it's just two, that's fine. It starts to become more than that. Then I get a little concerned. Okay. So now I think there are five left by the looks of things. Is more than I think we can afford to fight simultaneously when we have Gramps following us. But uh, no, do keep that out. Do you think we still want to try to find ways to pick off one or two away from the group? I'm going to deliberately go this way a little bit, so you can get just this one or two, enough. ideally. Come on, enough. Enough. Come on, enough. All right, also, you are not actually taking damage right now. Hold on. What is happening? Please don't do that. Switching stances. We're in group stance. Knocked you down. Had enough to take you out. Should be. This guy is slightly different color browner than the others. A little grayer. A little less brown. I wonder if he's actually a little stronger. It does seem like he was dodging more attacks than usual. I don't know if there's any variation amongst the drowners. Oh, Jean-Pierre, we did want to see at some point. Gramps go. Okay. So, like, that's what I mean. You're worrying me when you go that far off. I could not see it for a minute there. Right, now I think there's three. Ideally, we would take care of one or two of them and not all three simultaneously. Yeah. Enough. Okay, we have Come two on, here. I think this is good. Gramps. I understand you're trying to take cover and everything, but you're picking a questionable place to do that. It's your timing. It's quite off. Did the other one too? Yes, we did. Got two there. I didn't see one of them get finished off. But apparently, we got them both. So there's just... One left here, I believe. 
This guy. Because if we went straight into the middle of the clay pits, I think we would have been at risk of getting swarmed on all sides. Alright, this is not working out so well. I love where we're standing. Too fast indeed. does appear as though, at least for the time being, we're safe over here. I mean, there are some... Oh, nothing beats me. Okay. I'm um, not sure what that was about. There are some mutilated corpses, which, of course, may not bode well, and I have no idea what this is. Storage? Okay, we might learn more about that later. And... Oh! What's your side? Torn a lot of flesh from the this corpse. It's obvious the mortal wounds were inflicted by a sword. Sharp one at that. Ah, uh, you know what that means. I believe we have a friend around here. We might be expecting to see soon. In fact, you know we have Gramps here, and I know I was saying that we would go back in order to talk to other people in town, but I'm starting to think that we really ought to multitask here. What the heck is that? I mean, I, I do know what it is. Some Echinops, and it hurts. Oh my god. There's the obelisks that he's trying to get to. Uh, I didn't even realize we were going in a different direction here. Did I start going forward instead of going back? I might have. I meant to go back. Back over here to the houses. Uh, it's gonna hurt, isn't it? I'm not sure we have much in the way of items to help us out here. Hey, hey. I mean, we have a little bit of. Food, but that's not really gonna do anything. It has the tiniest little boost to our life regeneration. I don't think that's gonna make a particularly large difference when we need to stop fighting in order to trigger it, in order to eat it. So for that reason, I think we will try to use a sign, stun this guy, and hope that that works well. But, uh, this guy is, uh, actually destroying us right now. Yep, Actually destroying us. What the heck? No, that is not... Not what I thought it was. It is not. Okay. I'm assuming there's... Probably an autosave. When we went across the ferry. Ugh, fine game. Fine. Be that way. Where does this leave us? I think right where we were when we started today. Which I think means... I mean, we basically just went straight through here. We learned that there is not much here. We might just talk to the guards quickly. Did we see Raftsman before? I'm not sure if we did. Maybe worth talking to him. This was just a torch. Still is. Not terribly relevant. We'll talk to you guys briefly. And I mean, now we know. <laughs> Gotta be very careful there. Oh, Going into the swamp. Beyond that gate, the Catrion of Plague kills dozens every day. I have a feeling the quarantine's useless. Talk to you. Yo, In the war, us. I served under Brony. Halt. No passage through here. Switching Keep spots with the other guard that we talked to last time. I, not even the Emperor of Nilfgaard can pass. Captain Talk to the right one last time. Why wouldn't you let the Emperor pass? 
I'm gonna That's skip through this I see why we won the war. a little bit. Since we have heard it. Just in case we need to know about it for some reason. Is there any of these barrels particularly notable? Oh, not sure we used that one last time. Give ourselves a tiny bit of inventory space by clicking that ring. And I mean, you could maybe make the case that we ought to try to do something to make ourselves better gear-wise. Weapon, I don't think there's much, but there is that really expensive armor that we can buy in town, the chest plate. So I am a little curious as to whether that might be a difference maker. I mean, that enemy that we were just fighting, you saw, we did very, very little damage to it, and it did a ton of damage to us. So, I'm not so confident that little upgrades like that are going to make much of a difference. I mean, that chest plate is significantly better than the one we're using, but still. It seems like, oh, these are also labels for Salamander that we were seeing, I think. Just, you know, so you know. But, yeah, I mean, that seems like a pretty much just a hard stop, you shall not pass type thing. At least at this stage in the game. Obviously, at some point, I would assume we can, in fact, uh, take it out. Here's the ferryman. But it may mean that we can't do everything right off the bat. Might need to be a little more conscious Transport of where we can and cannot go. Okay. Go. Take me to the other side. What your Time price is. And we, Ready to go? as I was saying before, yes, How I would like to go. You... We probably will not try talking to Gramps immediately. I forget if we actually initiated the conversation or if just by walking past him, he automatically talked to us. If it's not automatic, then we'll head to that little mini settlement first, I think, and see if we can get any more information. Right, this dramatic, this place is dangerous music. I mean, it might be that technically we're only supposed to go to the swamp area until after we've done everything in the town itself, which we've done a reasonable amount, it seems, but the assumption, metagaming here a little bit, but balance-wise might be that, hey, you're a little stronger before you actually end up going here. Hey, oh, there you go. Come aboard. That's all I'll find here. Who wishes to cross? Is there anything here? Nope. Okay. So, we have Gramps here. I would like to avoid him, if possible. Here's as though we did. So I want to talk to these people. Brickmaker's village. Okay. Let's see what we can learn here. I, ooh. We've not read this yet, apparently. Maybe it gives us some crucial information. The queen said, Don't plead for mercy, but beg those whom you harmed with sorcery. You had the courage to commit evil deeds. Be brave now, when justice is near. It is not in my power to pardon your sins. The witch sniggered like a cat. In response, her wicked eyes glimmered. My doom is near, she shouted. Yours is not far either, my queen. And the hour of your terrible death will remember Laura Doran and her curse. And know that the curse will touch all your descendants over the next ten generations. Yet, realizing that the queen was fearless at heart, the evil elven witch stopped swearing and threatening with curses and began whining and begging for mercy and help. Alright, more information about elves. Not sure that's immediately Druids all that useful. Upon us. Recently we celebrated the birth of triplets. A good omen. Rose and strawberries that we don't have room for. 
I mean, we did see little areas where we could sort of store things before, and I do wonder if we might be able to take advantage of those in the very near future. Or is there stuff like weak alcohol that we're holding on to that we could just drop altogether? That might be a good option. Not sure that the strawberries are necessarily better. I think the weak alcohol is a dime a dozen. Jeez. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. I'm really hoping, though, to talk to some people who can give us more information about Beringer, or maybe even tell us how to be more effective against that crazy powerful plant over there. Bop, bop, bop. Greetings. Bop, bop. Greeting, my lord. Greeting. What's with you? Well, not now, but when I six a brick fell on me head. I was playing a game where you toss a brick in the air, counting five morans so the brick wouldn't bop you. I never was good at counting. I say the brick made me stupid. Burp, burp. Mm -hmm. If you need soap getting somewhere, you come to the right place. See, eyes never get lost. Burp, burp, burp. Then this must be my lucky day. Tell me about the swamp. Yeah, that's good to use for. Well, the swamp's wide and deep, with mosquitoes up your arse. Oh, they've been stinging lately. Who lives here? Living here, we got druids, brick makers lumberjacks, monsters, and mosquitoes. That's who. Ba, ba, ba. Mm. Ba, ba, ba. What do you want to hear about? Mm. I mean, the brick makers are probably. Brick makers and lumberjacks are probably the least significant here, unless these are us. quote unquote brick makers and they're actually Just doing something there. else. Straight on, and there's the village. That's where you'll find the elders who you need to oblige. We make bricks. Ba ba ba. Anything else you likes to know? Looks like this was mostly brick makers, and I didn't see much in the way of lumberjacks. Where are the lumberjacks? Ba ba ba. Lumberjack sticks to where they logs. Where else would they sticks? So where exactly do they log? Should have said that from the start. Ba ba ba. South of the brick makers village. Best follow that path past the horrid cave till you see stumps. Okay. Druids? Where will I find the druids? Ah, uh, that's the furthest nook in the forest. With beautiful trees and wild beasts sitting with druids. That'll be straight southwest, but you need to pass the loggers or take another path. Hard to say what. Ba, ba, what? Ba. Is that because it's just direction wise you have to go past those things, or because there's some really powerful monster, like, say, a gigantic Venus flytrap over there. Did I hear you mention mosquitoes? Damn buzzing bloodsuckers! There's more of a year. You'll find that most by the tower. Oh, the right, tower. the tower's over here. Yeah, if you go straight west and then south by the hut, you're sure to reach the Meiji's tower. Bah, bah, bah. But it's shut, and there's nothing but blasted mosquitoes and some geelongs there. Bah, bah, bah. Yeah. How about monsters? Well, we got monsters of many. Will o' wisps and mammons that keep a decent brick maker from getting home when he's a bit tipsy. We got wind wraiths and brownies with their little red caps. Anything else? What else we got mosquitoes. Okay. Farewell. Not sure that's. Game-changing information, but it's something. My and grandfather baked bricks. No doubt I will too. Some treacherous, unscrupulous woodcutters live nearby. They're led by a dwarf. Oh, fine, fine. Just a little bit bigger settlement than I expected to run into. We do not have room for any of that stuff. It's not terribly valuable. That is a terrible weapon. We have room for the dried fruit at least. Okay. Looking for some answers here. But also I think uh Asuka must be some reason Oh, Browners. They're coming in here, okay. 
Is this one is? They might have been far enough out here. We weren't at risk, but... Oh. Hold on a second. What's the map even look like? Yeah, this island is much bigger than I realized. Yes, you are trying to fight us. Is it just you? I think it's just you. Please stop dodging. Whoa! That was nifty. So one other thing I was thinking is... At least before we really go clearing through this place, it sounds like it's gonna make sense for us to read a few more books. And, uh... Do that before we actually progress far, because... There's at least one Witcher contract, I think, here for taking out enemies. And we need to get the items that they drop in order to do that. So, I think that it really does make sense to go back, make sure we buy some of said books. And then we can come back here and maybe get a little more out of actually fighting these guys. Otherwise, a bit of a missed opportunity. So if you're gonna go here, you might as well get the most out of it, right? It does seem like it's gonna be a dangerous place, too. So, might make sense to do other things in the middle of town. Eh, yeah, that was also too fast. In order to allow ourselves to uh, become a little more powerful, whether that means get ourselves a better sword, not sure if that's gonna be possible, the armor, like we were saying earlier, or something else, leveling up. I was saying earlier, we theoretically. Well, that's the weak uh, alcohol that we drop. I remember. Okay. Oh, that's Vasca. Go to Vasca's house first. Just in case. I think we have some of that already. Okay. Yeah, we have seen a few of those things. It would be helpful to understand what the deal is. Alright, Vasca. A traveler from distant lands. He has lost something he now seeks. What shall I call you? Vasca, the village Eldress. Geralt, Witcher. What do the villagers do? We mine clay and produce bricks. I see none working. Hard times. Speak. What do witches do? We solve problems. Want to ask something? Indeed. Yeah, this is probably chief among those questions. Has another witcher been here? Berengar? He has. Asking different questions about those alchemies. The alchemist Kolkstein must have sent him. Did he now? He upon his gear in a clay pit, covered in blood. Thanks, Vaska. White-haired one. There were signs of fighting there and not with monsters. He was attacked by men. Beware of flaming lizards and dry ones. I need you alive. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would seem to be an allusion to perhaps one of those monsters we were just fighting, and it would be nice to get a little more information about how to actually take those things out, because it was not looking like we were very close. Do you have monster problems? Indeed. Creatures have made nests in the clay pits. What are they like? As if drowned, then resurrected. Drowners. I can finish them. We're poor folks. I can pay no more than 50 orins. <laughs> Too much risk for a measly reward. I mean, those are presumably the ones that we were just... I mean, we actually did completely finish them off. It was just a... Strayed a little bit too far from the road afterward, and then met an ill fate. That's enough. Where are they? Towards the landing, but take the other road at the fork. At its end, you'll spot our tormentors. Mm. Tormentors. Being <sighs> the mutilated bodies that we found, or again, that monster. All right, we definitely have more questions for you, though. Lots of good leads there, but... Swamp Tower, I wish to learn yeah. about the Swamp Tower. 
Like a sword, you cut through the veil of mystery. The one they call Gramps will satisfy your curiosity. I must remain silent until the appointed time. Whatever huh? you say. Want to ask something? What? That's a really weird thing to say, but it sounds like Gramps is actually going to the tower, which he didn't describe it that way, but it seems like they are one in the same place, and it, once we do take him there, he might have a trick or two up his sleeve, and some weird things might be about to happen, because she needs to wait until the right time to tell us more about that. What, what do, do you, you do here? We mine clay to form bricks we bake in ovens. It's profitable? No. <laughs> Though the city grows in need of bricks, the carriers and merchants snatch most of our profit. Maybe you should move. Never. We know only brick making. Do what you will. Want to ask something? Sounds like a bit of a recipe for failure, but okay. I guess. Oh, you are also a traitor. So if we could sell some of our not so good stuff, that would be helpful, I think. Because we are holding on to a fair bit of that. Just taking up inventory space. We had to drop a fair bit. These worth anything? Worth more than watermelon. Again, there's at least. They sent, or as far as I know, there is no indicator directly on these food items as to just how helpful they are, how powerful they are. So I'm mostly just going off of how much they cost when you try to sell them. Like five a piece, sounds like those are good. Three a piece, sounds like it's not as good. Four, five. Is there some way of knowing in advance just how valuable some type of food is? I would like to know that. I think there are any weak alcohols we still have. I know we dropped some earlier. Okay, that gives us at least a little bit of inventory space. Not clearing much in the way, or not making much in the way of monies. Been in here. But it at least allows us to do more in the future. Like, continue to loot pretty useless things like weak alcohol and bad foods from people so that we can just turn around and sell them to that person outside. Basker is wise. Have you spoken to her? We have. Are there other people in town that we ought to make sure that we talk to them? Or blueberries. Plenty of drowners. Oh! Already filled up said inventory. These obelisks that we still don't know about. Hoping someone would answer some questions I had about those. Apparently not. I think there was still, what, this building that we've not been in? This hut? Is Vizima really a den of depravity? Eh, uh, I played the pit. But what is this? No, not that. This. I already read it. Prophecy of the Elven Priestess? Yeah, it's the one that we got from the Reverend. Um, I mean, it does seem as though we could at least flip it. Sell it for more than that one orin worth watermelon, or maybe it was worth two. Something like that. I mean, we would like to find a place to actually sell those books. But let's take a quick look at our map. We learned a little bit more, but not a ton. There's the clay pits that we could theoretically try to clear out, but... As Vasco was saying, there's some not so great stuff there. And I am, after having seen what can show up on the roads, a little reluctant to just wander aimlessly, knowing that, uh, well, might not end very well. So I think 
Although we did get a few answers here. Or at least a few leads here. We still ought to head back to town, I believe. Oh, I'm here, though. We do have something we want to talk to you about. I don't remember what it is. We are supposed to talk to you. Who are you? A witcher. Well, well. I thought Leo Bonhart had disposed of your kind. Never oh. heard of him. Nor will you again. We all, in this profession, eventually meet someone better than us. What You're about to try to kill us? Bounty hunter. What brings you here? I would like to know both these things. We hear about the notice. Finally. Got the hides? I'll return when I have the pelts. I'll be here. I think it's wolves for this guy, so apparently we are not done with that notice. Who was Bonhart? Let us Leo know about this guy. Legend. In some ways, he was like you. He killed without emotion. Just like you would kill a... a lame drowner. He was the best. Tall, slim, and... One gaze from those empty eyes could break a man. Was he a mage? No. He slew some witchers. Those who riled the peasants. Magic tricks and witchers' reflexes proved useless against him. But he's dead. As they say, he hit a harder rock than he was himself. Yes. Take care, Witcher. I don't know what to Farewell. make of you or this Leo character of whom you speak. All right, let's head back. I think we have more information on Calixtine and what else? We know we definitely want to purchase some books. And I mean, again, talking to Shawnee, if we can find Witcher, her, would be nice. Go and see Yaron Bolt, the lead woodcutter. He ought to have a job for you. He lives at the southern end of the swamp. Right. Thanks. What do you want? Uh, I'm not sure I knew that. But take me to the other still, side. Still, take me back. Time is money. Made up your mind? Yes. Five arms. No big deal. Ready to go? I wouldn't have paid otherwise. Take me to town. I mean, it is true. Again, with the dramatic stuff, it, it always makes me feel like something is bound to happen on one of these trips. Like, we're just lucky that these are uneventful passages to and from the swamp area. I don't know if it makes time pass when we do that trip. It was pretty early in the morning. I think it is still relatively early in the morning now. I don't think we've seen you before. All falls on me to do. And I don't think we will bother trying to see you again. Okay, so I think we head back. And there are a few things we want to do to set ourselves up for success when we go back out there. We may have rushed it a little bit. We have some hints. Ooh. Oh, Sultan. Hey, Sultan's out here? What? You are one of the people we want to talk to, so you know what? Hello. Yes? I mean, I think we also technically want to play you with poker as well. well I think we played you before, but... There are a few novices, or novi, whatever the plural novice is. We're supposed to face before we go up against the expert. Maybe we still need to go well beyond this and into future areas before we can do that. But anyways, know about silver, silver sword. sword. That's the primary thing. What, me? A simple dwarf? Shani insisted your knowledge of weapons is unequaled. All right. Silver-plated blade. A steel core. Suited to a two-handed grip. Decent workmanship. Not perfect. I don't know runes for shit. Thanks. No problem. Okay. Have asked about the Valdi's bank. How are you doing? Small talk? Question mark? Marriage, Geralt. Uh, My profession's not exactly conducive to marriage. Are you proposing to us? Incessant risk, travel. Not many women would agree to that. You see, I'm having doubts. Go on. I haven't seen her for some time, and I'm getting jealous. 
She dwarves are so desirable. I suggest we drink heavily, if that doesn't help. You mocking me? I wouldn't dare. Hardly something to laugh about. Got a minute? What's eating you? Nothing. Mm, I think we've already asked him yes. about that. And well, we have. We'll do a quick round. I own a true butcher sword of prime quality. Okay. I say so. Apparently, we do. Uh, snake eyes. That's about it. His pair of twos, which is better. Neither one is particularly good. We make the case that we actually ought to re-roll even these. Let's give it this a shot at least. Hold on to the, the pair just in case. In case we get a one. And now we have a triple. It does beat him unless he gets something better himself, which he But oh yeah, triple is better than pair two or two pair. I forgot that. Okay. Uh, wow, full house, first roll. Not the best of, are you kidding? Okay, for a second I thought you got one too. Uh, I mean, yes. He does have a very good hand as well. I'm keeping this. Is he gonna try to roll more than just that? Nope. Uh oh. 66? Not bad. What? What the heck is this? Where did this come from? We don't have inventory space for it, but I would like to. Can we find some junk stuff to drop? Cheese? Or weak alcohol? Weak alcohol. What does this do? Area. Already can't find it. Oh, I didn't even realize we had this in our potion slot. I thought we were completely out of helpful potions. So, uh, we've had that for a while, I bet, in that case. My bad. Uh, where's the room, though? Is what I would like to see. I don't know. I will spare you. So I think we ought to go. Okay. I, think, yeah, I think that's just a coincidence. We ought to go visit Falkstein because we have a little more information on him. I know we did maybe possibly accuse him of being very involved in the process last time round. Crimes that we are investigating last time round. Which may not have sat well with him. But, I mean, I'm not sure we necessarily have incriminating evidence. We have a little more, though. Sorry, Reason to believe in thought. that he knows about Berengar. And or the tower. the tower. Yes? Where can I find information on the tower? Books are the most reliable storage of knowledge. Anything else? Listen to the swamp dwellers, too. Folk knowledge, Peter. myths, and legends are useful. Though oral histories can become distorted. All right, I'll do that. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. Okay, I was expecting to maybe get a little more out of you. But I think, uh, unfortunately, we can't sell any of our books here. Minerals, book of I don't think that applies to anything we've seen here. Or that, for that matter. Ugh. Outer repelling talisman? What? Plus 400? It's an interesting thought. I mean, drowners have kind of been... Low-hanging fruit, not particularly threatening, at least not individually. Yeah, in a group, maybe a little bit, but... Okay. 
That's not really all the information I was looking for, though. You tried. I'm mad. What can I do for you? I think so. Sell that for 40. Is that something? Oh, that's also worth 40? Sure. For six. Yeah. Other than that, meh. Okay, I was really hoping to find someone who will buy our books from us. Yeah, Not sure yeah. it's gonna be you. We can see your food. Probably picked up some rather junk food, like the blueberries. All right, just clearing more space again because we did start to run into that issue again. Ah, uh, you! I think you are the one who buys and sells books. What do you want? Yes. Okay. The ones we've already read. They are worth a bit. We'll sell them. Assuming we haven't back read them, so we should double check. We have. That's worth 80. That's not bad. 16. We've already read it. Already read it. 12. And we've already read it. Okay, so now the question is, do we have things here that we could really use? Monsters, sorcerers, and witchers, from a simple man's point of view. I mean, we have a fair bit of coins right now, so although that doesn't sound terribly practical, it might still be worth doing. But I think maybe we look at some of these higher level ones that are a little more expensive. Ooh. This might include the types of guys we were just going up against. At least some of them. We read that. Could also be helpful, this one, since we are going to be going to Swamp soon. So, basically, we could blow through probably all of our money. If we were to go through and buy every single book that we have not read yet, or at least all the key ones that look like they... What is that? That also looks cool. But, uh, yeah, there's that. But the other thing we were talking about earlier was does it maybe make sense to try to buy some nice armor? I just remember in the past that our armor was very expensive. Or the armor that we could have considered buying was very expensive. I don't remember exactly how much, because at the time it just seemed like it was way out of our league. I have to remind myself as to where that guy is, though. Yeah. Armor of the Order. Slightly different place from all the other traders. You bring trouble. Uh, around this corner, right here. Sir, can I have a look? Forgive me, sir. We sell only to the Order's friends and to the faithful. I have not heard of you. Farewell. Excuse me? You were able to buy from you earlier. Need anything? Will you sell me your wares? I only work for friends of the Order. Bye. What? What's this? Where's, uh, where's Seafried? Help us out, man. Why are these guys giving us the cold shoulder? Geralt, I was wondering if you'd care to join the Order. Mm, well, well... Before you say no, let me give you some details. All right. Allow me to draw your attention to a few important matters. A primo, the Order was created to serve humble folk. A secundo, anyone can join, peasant, nobleman, or witcher. Tertio... Knights of the Order enjoy many privileges. I've heard enough. A quarto. Knights of the Order mm. pursue monsters. What do you think? No thanks. Let's see, I would really love if you would let us actually buy gear from your trader over there. Because, uh, he has a really nice chest plate that he was willing to sell to us earlier, and for some reason he's not willing to do that now, and I don't fully understand why. Oh, there is also 
He's also raiding the house down here. Ramsmead, I think is his name. Where will they bury me? And it looked like we probably need to fight our way past these bouncers. A solid meal. And I'm not sure if all the thugs will come to their aid. So that seems like that might be a good place for us to at least experiment in the near future. But anyways, I think this is probably a good place for us to wrap up in this video, because we at least experimented a bit with the swamp area, and I guess I was thinking that we were going to have more stuff to do in the town proper in order to prepare ourselves for going back there. Yes, books, sure, but I was hoping we might be able to pick up that strong armor, and, uh, well, apparently we are no longer friends of the Order, so my bad. But anyways, we'll have some of that stuff to look forward to next time around, so I'll see you then.